Hello everyone, so, um, yeah, I tried to record a Banjo-Kazooie video yesterday, and that, you know, exploded, and, you know, everything just went wrong, there was a problem with the microphone, there was a problem with the recording, I, and I completed the world too, which, you know, just made me mad, but everything went wrong, you know, and then, you know, Syria, you know, exploded, and ISIS invaded Australia, and, you know, just all these kind of things were going wrong, so, I decided to just move on to the far superior, not that Banjo Kazooie is a bad game, Banjo Kazooie is a great game, but far superior Banjo Tui. So, you'll see why it's so great, and we'll just carry on, shall we? That's Banjo. This whole great opening skit is fantastic as well, so I'm just going to move it and like, really enjoy that. And this, this sums up what happens after falling from her tower. She was buried underground when she remains until this very day. That's basically what happened with the end of the Banjo Kazooie. Is you just throw her from the top of the tower, push this rock over her, which Clungo is trying valiantly to move. It bouts of gibberish. No good, mistress. Still can't shift the rock. So she's still alive. She, she's in a very different form. She being grunty, she's in a very different form. I love the music in this Here's Kazooie being Kazooie. <laughs> Stealing all the money. <laughs> all the best friends. Mumbo is such a more prevalent character in this game. Um, he's, a, he's just great in this game. Because you actually get to be him, as opposed to in Magic Kazooie, he turns you into stuff. In Magic Kazooie, you. Banjo is still really sexy, as you can see. It's Grunty Sisters! Sister at the moment. <laughs> Blabelda. <laughs> yeah, the other one's called Blabelda. That was a nice one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, family of witches. <laughs> this 
fantastic dialogue, comedy, was like no other. Mumbo to the rescue. See the grunt is still alive. This game is so weird. It's <laughs> so bizarre. That's one thing I prefer about this game is comparison to Banjo Kazooie 2. It's just so weird. So much. Banjo Kazooie is already weird. Banjo 2 is just through the roof bizarre. Fantastic soundtrack as well. Grant Coco. And he is Grunty the skeleton. Wearing rather a nice scarf, don't you think? <laughs> I never know if she talks like Yoda before. She must know it's not that simple. You can't just kill Grunty. <laughs> I 
And they forget Congo. She's totally lying. She's a horrible person. That's good, yeah, it's good story direction. You need to hate the... You need to hate the villain. Klungo just wanted her for her help. Why are you so mean to Klungo? Andrew's house is destroyed. So sad. Come up, 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 but did they, Banjo? Did they? No. So sad. Because you're like, what are you talking about, Smalls? He's not that sad. It's not that sad. He's still alive. JK, la 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 la. Because he's dead, Mumbo. He's a ghost. <laughs> Bit of a fourth wall break there. It's also a good game, it's also, it's also a sort of a parody of sequels. And ironically, it's much better than the first. <laughs> Which is funny, because I actually think this game is a lot easier than Magic Kazooie. But yeah. I suppose that matters. So here we are! Bag of Spiral Mountain, good times! Let's talk to what's his name. Balls. <laughs> yeah, we can't. Me Royce. <laughs> We can't do anything about this yet. We need to learn some new moves in order to do that. Let's talk to the old mortals. That's a, that was a bit of a spoiler game, huh? Probably good at all not telling us that, but let's, let's have a look through our old homestead, shall we? Uh, we already know, we already know these things. This is all the, the moves that you can learn at the beginning of Banjo Kazooie. You can watch the first part of that here. I only managed to get four parts done before, you know, before the whole situation is serious. Stop me. Death threats. I don't know what I'm talking about. Pick up honey to boost you. <laughs> I probably think who the hell was that? And all will be revealed. Don't worry. You will know. In time. Yeah, you can see there, there's a little indicator of what's to come. So creepy. Alright, let's deal with this guy. Fredoosh! See, the ladder is broken. Let's deal with these, shall we? Nothing in them. I think it's just practice. Uh, somebody see me. Somebody see me. Come on then. Come on then. Come on! You ain't shit. I don't whip your butthole. <laughs> okay, um... Yeah, how, there was a... There used to be something. 
I know that much. Hang on. Ah, uh, we'll see. What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? There you go. We've done that. I think at the top of there, there's a flying thing you can use to get into the into the castle. Though we don't need to go in the castle anymore. The castle is not the forefront. <laughs> you can see the grating, the grating. I don't know what the grunty sized crater hang. I know there's someone coming. I heard them. I heard their angry noises. I can't see them now. Oh yeah, I went far enough away. Hello. Hello. Can't we just be friends? Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just going to get to the top of this and show you a character from Banjo Kazooie that we didn't get to see in my playthrough. Because yeah, everything broke. Everything exploded. I'm sorry about that. Yes, here we go. Alright. No, that's not what I want. Okay. Now this may be what one might be tempted to call a bitch. Oh, but it actually it wasn't. It was quite easy. So yay. This is a character called, I think, Cheeto. If you collect his notes, his, uh, not his notes, his pages. <laughs> So that's something else you can collect in this game, uh, Cheeto pages. Ha ha ha. Okay. But yeah, that's the extent of Grunty's old castle. Isn't that weird? When it was such a diverse area before? Right, let's just go straight for the crater, shall we? Um, yeah. Ooh. What's up there? Uh, no, actually, I don't think we can do anything about that now. We'll come back to that, shall we? The next time we give Cheeto a page, we'll come back to that. So now, let's just go in here and see what's, see what's up. See what's up with Klungo. Our first little boss battle. Sup, Klongo? The boss music in this is great, too. I love the soundtrack to this game. And Spandrick is a Grant Kirkhope composer. Gotta love him. Sup, Klongo? Minion with a mission. <laughs> short game. Ha ha ha. Yeah, every time you face Klungo, he has a special potion that changes stuff. Ow. Can I hit him like this? No, okay. I gotta wait for him to shrink down. So Klungo. There we go. Now we got a different potion. Oh, I see. Now I just gotta run in a circle. Though it gets harder, because on the third one he predicts where you're going, so you're like, oh, it's just this again. <laughs> He's very easy. He is, after all, the first enemy you face, really. He ain't got two. There we go. Sweet. Easy money. Pretty macabre, aren't they? Alright, so shall we go to the next 
area, which I believe is this way. We have to tell sometimes. Because it always speeds up for us. Jinjo Village! Uh, yeah, Jinjo Village. All the Hags is the name of the whole of the world, basically. And I think the last thing we'll do for this episode is just get all this stuff. I'm not going to get golden. Actually, I could get golden for this, but now I can do that. That's what that is. And, uh, yeah. Who that guy is will be re released in the or at least will be made clear in the next game, in the next video. Rather. So yeah, I think that will end here. This is where the game starts to kick off in this area. So that's actually interesting. You can see there's a little castle there. So yeah, fun stuff. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, you know, do all the fun stuff like loading and favoriting, you know, all that cool stuff, sharing, putting cheese. Burrito. That's fun too. Goodbye.